Hello and welcome to Sound in Motion with Neuron. My name is Axel Hartmann and I would like to give you some acoustic impression of the Neuron synthesizer. Neuron is a newly developed musical tool for transforming and creating rich sounds, textures and soundtracks. One of the most fascinating and novel features of the Neuron synthesizer is its sound engine which is represented by the two resonators here on the left side of the user interface. Think of the resonators as oscillators that are able to reproduce something much more than just basic waveforms. The models you load into Neuron are much like photorealistic renderings of a sound. Together with the models comes a set of parameters which is like the DNA of a sound. Those parameters represent the model's most specific attributes. Let me demonstrate this pretty abstract idea with an example. All manipulations to the resonator's model parameters can be controlled by their dedicated ADSR shapers. Or you simply use the record stick function, where each parameter level in both scape and sphere can be automatically controlled by its own dynamic stick movement. This is the blender. With a blender, it is possible to dynamically mix and blend the outputs of the two resonators. It is, for example, possible to have the sound creating parts of a piano play through the sound shaping parts of a guitar or a drum loop if you want. The blender offers a whole set of different blender types and thus represents an extremely powerful sound shaping tool. The blender can be modulated by one of the free envelopes or an LFO from the mod unit. Silver lets you put a lustrous shine on your sounds. In addition to a high-quality multi-mode filter, it offers two multi-effect processors, one of them representing a set of frequency effects such as equalizer, compressor, distortion, ring modulator, DC mater and SP warp. The time-based effects offer stereo spread, a left-right delay unit, phaser, flanger and chorus effect. The silver stick allows you to manipulate three two-way parameter sets within the filters and the frequency and time-based effects. The movements of the stick can be recorded easily and, as with the resonator sticks, stored as part of a sound. The programmer is Neuron's command and control center. It is the tool for managing sounds and setups. While working with Neuron, the unique snapshot function is extremely helpful. You can take a snapshot of your current sound settings at any time, so if you are getting carried away too far, you can always go back as many steps as you want to. Neuron can save up to 50 snapshots during your sound creation session. Here we have the slicer module. With the slicer you can add some dramatically deep stereo modulation to the output of the resonators. 
It is much like a neuron-specific tremolo effect. An extraordinary feature in the silver unit, and of course of the neuron itself, is its surround facility. It is as easy to use as fascinating. With a stick controller, you can easily position your sound within a 5.1 surround field. In Neuron Setup mode, you can even position up to four sounds independently. Beyond that, you can record the stick movements to create animated sweeps through the soundscape and store these modulations as a component of a sound or a setup. Hi, my name is Joseph Pogardel and I'm one of the software developers for the Neuron User Interface and the Model Maker application. What is a model? Rather than use static samples, Neuron uses specially constructed models of samples as the basis for every sound. The Model Maker software is free with a Neuron and works with Mac OS 9, OS 10 and Windows. In this example, I've used a multi-sample which I've imported. After analyzing a sample, the generated model contains all necessary information to resynthesize the acoustic event and use the sound's inherent properties rather than just playing back a recording. For each key zone, you can make a number of adjustments. For example, change the low key, change the high key, change its boundaries, or you may even want to change the root key. You could detune the zone, change its volume, or change the panning. Once you're done, you hit process, and on this pop-up screen, you enter the number of the model as it will appear on the neuron. Also, you choose a parameter set, which you can choose one that's specific to what you're doing. For example, we've got a guitar here, and we used a stringed parameter set. Or you could use, on purpose, one that doesn't really suit your instrument, but might give you very interesting effects, like woodwinds applied to a guitar. Once you've done that, you hit go and the model is generated by analyzing the samples that you've given it. There are many possible parameters. For example, the corpus size of an instrument or the tension of a string. Or you can do real-time pitch shifting with format correction. Once you've analyzed your samples and generated a model from it, you can transfer it to a neuron to use it there. By generating your own models, you can turn the neuron into your own personalized instrument. Additional model sets from Hartman or third-party providers, together with regular free software updates and upgradable hardware, make the neuron an instrument that is constantly growing, just like your own creativity.